Hi everyone, it is good to speak to all of you, knowing that our friends in the UK are pushing very hard to redeem the political rights that belong to the Hong Kong people. Many British allies have been advocating for Hong Kong and reminding the international communities about what the Hong Kong people are facing. With the newly introduced national security law, we anticipate that the Chinese Communist regime will stifle the civil society of Hong Kong by all means. It will turn Hong Kong from a free city in East Asia, which serves the interests of Britain, Hong Kong, China, and the world for more than a century into just another obedient Chinese city. While the COVID-19 pandemic caused by the undemocratic and corrupted Chinese government plagues the world, we should not lose sight of Hong Kong. When the Chinese government is trying to advance its propaganda in the world, we should fight back and contain its unfettered, poisonous ambition. The Chinese government has tortured the Chinese human rights defenders, adopted book owners, locked up millions of Uyghurs, Agnes Tibet, and always wanted to invade Taiwan. The fight in Hong Kong is to resist the further erosion of Hong Kong's freedom and to keep the CCP's hand out of Hong Kong. To safeguard Hong Kong, we will need allies from the government, from civil society, from the NGO sector, as well as professional and working class people. We need to stand united to fight this fight, and we are all in this together. I still recall the day when I was in the UK in 2016 and 17. There's not much you could do because it was the low point of Hong Kong's democracy movement. Now, with CCP's toxic nature revealed to more people and the sacrifice our Hong Kong fellows have made, more and more people and countries see the risks and consequences facing the world. We can no longer put business interests over human rights matter and we can no longer turn a blind eye to the brutal policy imposed by the CCP government. The CCP government has torn apart the Sino-British Joint Declaration and trampled the spirit of one country, two systems. The values of human rights, equality, and freedom are the real indicators of whether society is stable, innovative, and prosperous. Hong Kong might need a reform to do away its structural inequality and colonial legacy, but we should not let go of the good parts of Hong Kong, and we should not even let a government that is not elected by the Hong Kong people to decide our future. Keep fighting the good fight, and Hong Kongers shall never give up. It is my honor to stand with all my brothers and sisters, and the world is proud of the people of Hong Kong. 加油香港人! 光復香港! 时代革命！